Hi everyone, it's David from Visca Systems again, and today I'm going to talk to you about this. The Mechademic Mega 500. So the Mega 500 can be used in a wide variety of applications, including pick and place, dispensing, assembly, you name it, you can do it with this. Our application, we use it for inspection. So this robot is very well integrated. Um, I'll just run through some of the parts. So on the base, we have an integrated controller. So if you're connecting to this robot, you just need an ethernet cable into the back, power cable into the back, and you can access the robot controller directly from your web browser. So it's a very nice way to get up and moving and it's very quick if you're doing a demo, it's really good. You can also then communicate with the robot over various protocols such as Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, or general TCP IP socket commands. The rest of the robot then, so we have joints one to six um, that are up along the robot. And uh, we have the end effector here and you can mount different grippers on the end. And one item of note is this port at the end, which is required from academic. If you're using their grippers, you can connect their gripper into here so you don't have cables running along the robot. So we found application for the Mega 500 mostly in medical device manufacturing and electronics. What's really special about this robot is that it has very high repeatability. So you can move the robot in very small increments and you can move it very repeatedly from one position and back to that position again. So you can operate this robot through its web HMI interface. So you log on with a web browser to the IP address that's been assigned to the robot. You can enter your robot commands there and you can get it to do some motion. So that's very quick and easy. You can also then control the robot over industrial protocols such as EtherCAT and Ethernet IP, for example. So you can control it directly from a VLC. I have two favorite things about this robot. The first of all is its repeatability. So I've done tests on this in a, in a lab type setting where we've moved the robot unidirectionally to test the repeatability. And also what we've tested is the incremental motion capability. And we can see that we can jog on sub five micron levels. We can jog fairly repeatedly. So it's quite interesting if you're doing an alignment project where you're using a camera to image the position of a part, you can get the robot to very accurately move in around what you need to pick up and be able to you know, utilize your part in the process. The other favorite thing I have about this robot, in my opinion, as a slave device, this is actually one of the best integrated robot controllers. What I really like about it is that all of the robot control and interpolation happens on the controller. However, it's not that you need to have an interaction directly with its controller when you have it set up as a slave. So it's quite easy to use as a component within your system. Definitely the thing that makes this the most special is the repeatability. And we've tested this and we can see unidirectional, we can move from pose to pose and come back to about five microns. So that's really meeting its spec. Sometimes it's even better than that. So that's really impressive. One other important aspect of, uh, of this dimension, which might be obvious, is the small size. This is the smallest six axis industrial robot available on the market. So definitely, definitely check it out. Thanks a lot for listening again today and catch me in the next video.